athletes, soccer players, martial artists, and YouTubers. It's your boy, John, and I'm about to talk about how to get those rock hard steel shits. Yep, that's right. I'm here to talk about how to strengthen those shin bones. So there are two ways on how to strengthen those shin bones. I have one way which is at the gym and the second way is at home. So those are my two safest ways to strengthen those shin bones, you know, without breaking them. <laughs> so one safe way is at the gym where you obviously hit the bag. I started um, 10 years ago, I hit the light bag. So I started hitting that like five to ten light light kicks to that light bag and then one hard kick to that hard that that light bag. Alright? So you do that with both legs, you know, left and right. You do that. Um once your you know your shins get used to the the pain, the 15, 30 minutes, you, know, you can't feel nothing, it's it's really time to go up, you know, it's time to, uh, you surpass the light bag, so it's time for the heavy bag, so you do the same thing, 5 to 10 times, light, light hits, and then, blam, that last hit to the heavy bag, until you get used to it, and that's one way to strength, to safe, safely strengthen your shins without breaking them and the other way is well I currently use <laughs> a frying pan so I this is um I just try to find anything that's flattened surface you know and also I use any kind of stick or anything that rolls to your shins, okay? So I'm gonna hit my shins, this frying pan to my shins, and then I am going to roll it. Alright, guys, I'm gonna show you how I strengthen my shins at home. I usually hit the bag like once or twice a week, and then I think. Once every other day, I use this method to strengthen my shins at home while it's healing. Or once every three days, I, I use this method. You know, when I'm bored, I'm watching TV or into internet or just, you know, resting or... Alright? So, this is what I do, okay? I hit the front part, okay, of the shin. And then I hit the side part of the shin. You know, you don't want to go over beyond. You're going to hit your calf. You don't want that. And you want to go you don't want to go too much or no, you're going to hit like um this muscle right here. Okay? So you just want to hit this front part and then the side. Okay? So I'm going to show you. All right? You don't want to go too hard, okay? You're going to go light. You're actually going to go light, okay? You're going to go down. Ooh. Then you're going to go back up. So you're going to go like from your knee to your ankle. Okay, well not all the way to your knee and not all the way to your but like, you know, where you feel it's comfortable, where, where the bone is, okay? So you go down and then you go up. Okay, you do that. That's one. You do like ten of those, okay? Once you're done with the front, you do the side. You do the same thing. Some light, okay? Okay, that's actually like real time. That's how I actually do it. All right, I take my time. Go down one, then I go back up one. All right, these are light. Okay, these are light hits. All right, once you're done, do the same thing to the other side. All right, so when you hit the heavy bag, right, or the light bag, or you hit, you hit it with this flat surface like a lot of times um, you are slowly making micro fractures to your to your bone
with your shins, all right? So these micro fractures are really tiny fractures. They're, they're really small, okay? You cannot see it. Like probably with a microscope, you could see it, but these are really tiny micro fractures. Also called cortical remodeling. And they are, it's not like a big fracture where you're, you're, you're kind of almost like slowly breaking your bone. It's really tiny. So when those micro fractures come, it's going to, it's going to fill in with calcium in those micro fractures. So it's going to create a more denser bone, right? So once you're done, you know, hitting that like 10 times, this 10 times, you're going to roll, must roll it with light pressure, of course, light pressure. So you're going to roll down and then you're going to roll back up like a light rep, light pressure, not too hard, you know, but a light pressure where you could feel it. Feel and then you do the same thing on the side, light pressure. Okay, so this is one way that I um, shrink condition my my shin bones because um, according to Wolf's law, um, in a scientific theory, it explains the process of bone adaptation. Bones become denser when they repair after a break. So when you when you break any part of your bone in your body, it's going to repair. You know, broken the broken bone is going to be filled with calcium, which turns into a more denser bone and a stronger bone. One way to recover from these, from these micro fractures is, or to make it faster, is I usually put um, ice and then I just um, kind of rub it rub it against my shins all right I do that for like uh, two minutes and then I'm done all right and um, one also fast way is to take calcium calcium supplements it's uh, going to help you uh, recover faster or you could do it the old-fashioned way and just drink some milk <laughs> all right um, well that's my two ways uh, to safely strengthen your shin bones without breaking them. So um, take care of yourselves and hope this helped. Comment, subscribe, like, and uh, tell me what you guys think. Alright YouTubers, take care.